In every business, customers have pain points that you try to provide solutions to. Well, last week it was one of my team members that identified her own pain point. When putting on a breakfast presentation, she'll normally bring lots of coffee for everyone attending. And she goes the extra mile and brings each person what they like. So that big jug of coffee, it's not an option. That's where her pain point begins. How do you buy 12 individual coffees, carry them to your car, park in a parking deck, carry them through the lobby, into an elevator, and eventually to the conference room without spilling a drop? That got me thinking. We sell decorative surfacing materials. What if I was to incorporate some of those products into a device that could hold all those coffees and show off some of the newest designs? That was the birth of the designer coffee tray. I wanted the tray to be sturdy enough to handle the weight of all those coffees, but light enough to still be manageable. It had to be able to fit on the front passenger seat of a car and have a durable finish. And of course, it had to have some of the most innovative and sustainable surfacing products to make it a springboard for conversation to start the meeting. So this had to be more than a simple box. It had to be a showpiece. In addition to looking good, I wanted it to feel good, so I selected two products. One that was soft to the touch, and one that was heavily textured. The juxtaposition of these two products would surely create curiosity with the designers and make them want to take a closer look. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and lay this laminate up, but I'm not going to uh, cut out the, the circles yet. Uh, because I'm going to apply this product to the front and I want a nice level um, flat surface to be able to wrap from. So here we go. The Fenix product fabricates just like laminate so I was able to apply it with contact adhesive and cut it with standard carbide tip tooling. Unfortunately, I didn't have a full sheet of the textured material, so I had to cut up the only samples that I had and hope that I could get some good tight joints between the small pieces. All right, here we go. Gotta get this as straight as I can. I'm going to test this on the bottom because uh, it's not as important. Uh, I loaded up a 7 degree bevel bit and I'm just going to run it along each edge. Just testing this one first. See what, uh, see what it does.
That's the ticket. Oh yeah. Alright, hold on, let me get a close-up of this. Okay, here you can see it was like the perfect cut where it just just kissed the Fenix here. And uh, I didn't even tell you guys what this was. This is Fenix, which is a soft touch, super matte, anti-fingerprint uh, material. It's acrylic. It's instead of being uh, melamine, like uh, high pressure laminate, this is an acrylic surface. And the acrylic is cured through an electron beam curing process that makes it like super hard. So it's extremely durable. And, um, and I just love that super matte look that it's got. And now this is a new product uh, that uh, I've been selling um, at work. It's called Tuet or Tuet, however you want to say it. And it is a, basically, it's a dimensional laminate um, where standard laminate is just, you know, flat. And this has ridges to it, um, which is kind of hitting that trend of, um, you know, the linear uh, panel look. And so I'm super excited about this and uh, I can't wait to finish this project up. Okay, now I need to find uh, find each of my holes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill a bit in there and then route these out. I'm gonna use that same, I think I'm gonna use that same bevel bit just to put a slight bevel on it. We'll go from there. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of sanding to ease those edges and then uh, and then clean it up and we'll be done. As a finishing touch, I installed rubber feet to provide some stability. This was a fun, quick build that I'm confident will provide some relief for my coworker and hopefully inspire some designers. If you've made it this far in the video, be sure to leave a comment and use the word Phoenix, so I know you've made it to the end. And if you'd like to see more of my content, be sure to like and subscribe. It's free and it really helps my channel. And stay tuned for my upcoming video where I use more Phoenix and a beautiful Italian laminate to renovate my laundry room. Until next time, go out and make something cool.